survival in any color of a smile. My crazy is dysfunctional childhood, mixed race confusion, overactive empathy, big sister bossy, panic attacks, social anxiety, unhealthy attachments, slight hypochondria, occasional dissociation, hide in my bedroom for days, and emerge with butterfly wings. Kind of crazy. When I was eight, my crazy was overly concerned about global warming. At 15, I was a ghost, nearly mute. I was barely there. At 19, my crazy was full of fire, making, sco making stars on my arm with a cigarette butt, a ticking cry, hairs away from his or her suicide, teetering in silence, doubled over with the burden of carrying 300 times my weight in hope sitting cross-legged on a grassy slope, somehow still full of gratitude for the night. My crazy wants to have tea with your crazy. Share battle stories, clink our glasses to letting go of the victim inside and rising up as phoenix every morning. My crazy one time had an episode in college. My sociology professor revealed he was born in a Nazi concentration camp. I became the nursery, if you can call it that. I became the darkness where that mother birthed a candle in the bleakest cave. I shook inside my bones. My mind split like fresh butter down the middle, gooey and soft and grieving, slithering into the dark spots of the human soul looking for the light. In an experiment conducted in 1961, just months after Adolf Hitler went on trial for the war crimes of slaughtering 11 million undesirables, scientists set out to study obedience. How could this have happened? They put people in a room, instructed people to give electric shocks to people in another room. They weren't actually giving shocks, but 65% of participants kept going, administered the maximum voltage, and everyone complied in some way. Please continue. The experiment requires that you continue. It is absolutely essential that you continue. My crazy knows I always have a choice. My crazy is a witch with a magic that can't be stolen. Following the moon, my chameleon has stereoscopic vision, sees things that others miss, is best friends with my third eye. My crazy has no interest in fighting your crazy. At this point, I just shrug when a drunk guy at a party accuses me of not believing in facts just because I don't think science has discovered everything yet. Galileo, father of modern science, did you know? He saw a vision in a dream. The earth revolved around the sun. How crazy, how crazy, how church-shatteringly crazy. We face another wave of geocentrism in which the flag is placed at the center of the solar system. Call it pope, call it king, call it president, patriarchy, racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia. My crazy whispers, an entire country is being gaslighted by a narcissistic dictator, fueled by a legion of regular Americans just trying to keep their best to keep the land of the free, free from undesirables. Oh my God, crazy. My crazy knows things, like what the first steps toward fascism look like, manipulated crisis, escalating dehumanization, rampant militarization, delegitimization of dissent. My crazy senses, fire truck red, waves of fear, and is so crazy she still believes in leading with love. Still believes self-care is a revolutionary act. 
believes a true leader seeks to serve rather than control. My crazy has a burning sun inside her belly, is crazy enough to believe that what I do, what I think, what I say, how I act, matters enough to make a difference in my world. My crazy is not the apathetic sort of crazy, not a demon needing to be tamed by red or blue pills, but a wise chameleon sitting on my shoulder, reminding me to listen to the bruised, the gentle, the confused. My crazy is radical. Radical love, radical acceptance, radical empathy. My crazy knows she cannot change anyone but herself, but can change herself every day. If Make America Great Again is sane, I vow to be as crazy as the conductors of the Underground Railroad, living outside the norm every single day in any way I can. My crazy will show up in whatever way she needs to, to keep my heart alive during these changing tides. Even if it's the weeping, heaving, releasing of the ego, birthing pain, a kaleidoscopic self shedding the skin of illusions, separateness, isolation, grimacing layers of reality underneath reality, what is right, what is good, what is true? Crazy is the breakdown before the breakthrough. Right on.